All right. I'm already starting to get low, so let's start a new game. Sci-fi adventure text might get you... Text space might get you a top rating. Let's actually try that. All right. So sci-fi adventure. Uh, let's see. Let's do it for the PC. Pick off flump time engine. There we go. I didn't want to do it for a moment. So sci-fi adventure, and we'll do text space later. All right. What do we call it? I'll be... Give me one second. I need to check and make sure that my uh, frames are okay. Oh, yeah, we're good. There we go. I can't see. It blocks my frame use. It blocks my uh, frame, and I can't get the window any smaller. And I can't do window capture, so... So I can't make it smaller at all, so yeah. Apologies for that, but yeah. Set to stun. I like that. I like that one. Anything else? I'm having no luck, and set to stun seems like it's pretty good. Alright, what's the, what's the background of this one? Ooh, we got su ooh, set to stun or supernova. You know what? Yeah, let's do supernova. Let's see. Uh... I got, I got a way we can incorporate both of them. We'll call it Supernova. And uh, the plot behind this one is... You are a... You're a mechanic on a spaceship that's going to blow up the sun. But... You see that... Everybody else on the ship seems like they're kind of incompetent. Uh, it becomes a text-based adventure as you go and explore the ship and find a whole bunch of stuff. To uh, kind of take over control. And... Uh, Make sure that these people don't fuck up the mission. And it will be Supernova. Set the sun to stun. As you try and stop the explosion. Alright. Supernova, let's go. And we're doing the tech space. A little bit cheaper. Start development. Alright, so. Sci-fi adventure, but we have to remember we are on a... Uh, a text-based adventure. So I'm going to put the engine and gameplay down a little bit and story and quest go up. Linear story and save game. We cut a little bit on the uh, on the other aspects, so I think we can go ahead and put those in. So story gets maxed. Uh, gameplay goes down because we won't have any stupid mini games in our thing. Engine kind of can go down. We'll see. We'll have some pictures, but. And World War J just got off the market, so this is a perfect time to put this in. Ooh, we're getting a lot here. Quit scratching your head so I can keep going. Alright. Uh, artificial intelligence, hardly. Uh, we'll need some level design for the outcome of the ship, but dialogue. Goes all the way up. Oh, getting some bugs. Platform news. Today, the, ma the new game platform, Master B by the Vena, has been released. Yeah, this is probably going to be our biggie. So we are text-based, but we'll have some sounds in there. Uh, let's put sound and graphic kind of like this, and the world design kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that. Don't need graphics in text adventure. We gotta have a couple pictures every once in a while just so people know what they're looking at. Environmental hints. Oh yeah, this is probably gonna be our big one. Platform news. The recently released gaming console, Master B by Vena, has stirred up the market worldwide. 
Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. <laughs> oh, assy boobs. <laughs> All right, let's finish it. Broke ground! On both technology and design. I don't know why the hell I turned country there for a second. <laughs> I have no country in my background. I don't know why I suddenly had to start talking like I was down. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the one they're going to push me forward now for tutorials. First reviews for our newly released game, Supernova, came in. Oh, yeah, that's good. Whoop. Seven, nice experience. Ooh, 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 a nine, outstanding game. Love it from Game Hero, very nice. Oh, I thought it was gonna give me that other eight, that other nine. Sci-fi adventure is a great combination. Yeah, that's a good one. That's an average of an eight. I think that's our highest. Game report. Better sell well with how well that did. Ooh, yeah. That's 8,000 in the first week. Game report. Post release analysis of Supernova is complete, and we got the following results. Sci fi and adventure is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be not very important for this type of game, and platform genre match PC adventure is great. Yeah, we kind of knew that. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the sales I got from that one. According to our market research, the recently republished game Supernova is a surprise hit with players. The developer Flumsync is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Do you have enough money to make a TES game now? Uh, that depends. Let's get some research first. Uh, mono sound, tar let oh, we gotta do them one at a time. Let's do mono sound first. Increase our sound quality. Dang! Oh, we're not going to break 50,000 at that rate. We've just researched your first engine part. To be able to use this in your new games, in your games, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Alright. Let's go ahead. I got the money now. Let's target audience. Oh, we can get casual games. Recent market data shows that the Govador G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. Here's the slump. That took a longer time than I thought. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher-priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Alright. And finally, let's do a topic. Alright, so... We have Expedition, Extreme Sports, Prison, and Post-Apocalyptic. What a get. Those three, what should I get? Hey, XH, how you doing? Your pick, but I personally would go post-apocalyptic. Okay, we got two for post-apocalyptic already, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Post-apocalyptic. And there we go. Research complete. All right. How much will it cost to create a custom... Ooh! Ooh, I can't do that yet. I can't add the mono sound in yet. That'll take way too much. All right, new game. You can now specify what your main target audience is for your game. Games can be targeted at young people, at everyone, or at more mature audiences. We're at a tire blowing me early. Oh, that's... My sympathies go out to you. Dad recently had to deal with some problems with his truck similar to that. 
Picking the right target audience for the game is important. Your, your platform can also play a role. The platforms are especially popular with a specific audience. All right, so. So we just introduced post-apocalyptic. We've done military surgery, racing, and the post-apocalyptic. Oh, and vampire. So the ones we haven't used right now are hospital and alternate history. Let's go with one of those. Hospital or alternate history, what do we want? I just realized this is kind of off-center. There we go. <laughs> the chat shows up a little bit better, and it's now all the way over to the screen. Sorry, so we got one vote for alternate history. All right, we got two for alternate history. Let's go with it. All right, uh, genre. I think we've used all of these, so we can get it. Got it out pretty easy, lucked into a used tire for nothing. A friend of mine was there to help, and the tire got rid of an annoying vibration that was concerning me, so it worked out. Well, at least it all worked out in the end. Still, still sucks for the tire, blah, but yeah, at least it all turned out all right. All right, I think we've used all of these genres. So, I'll leave it up. Everything's up in the air. We'll get a new combo out of it anyway, because I'm getting a, uh... Alright, so we got an action. We got one vote for action. Anybody else? Post-apocalyptic point and click. Ooh, that could also be good if we did adventure. So I got one for action, one for adventure. I'm leaning towards the I'm leaning towards adventure, so fish action so you don't double up on adventure too soon. That's also a fair point. All right, so it looks like we got totally not doing RPG. The people would be like Fallout ripoff would drown you. <laughs> All right, guess we're doing action and then all right platform. Costs eighty thousand. It's got the high market share, though, but it doesn't know its audience match yet. Go it. Acquire a license. You require a developer license to be able to develop for this platform. Do you want to pay 80000 to acquire a license for the TS? You know what? We got 173. Let's go for it. Bump time. So action has a good choice for a console. So do you want to put this at young, everyone, or mature? Uh, t no, Nintendo, I believe it is. I don't know why it's... Wait, I don't know why it's called TES. Because it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be by Ninvento, so I have no idea what it is. Yeah, because the NES was Nintendo Entertainment System, so I'm surprised it's not Ninvento Entertainment System. Okay, so we got an E. All right. What to call? Now taking name suggestions. We got action. Oh, did I think of alternate? Yeah, so we have an alternate history. Action. So we have an alternate history with action. I know Justin. <laughs> Dino Justin it is. <laughs> All right, we got to have 2D graphics on this one. 
Let's let's do the V2. We're we're going to the big leagues this time. Oh Jesus, that took a lot. <laughs> took a lot of money. Uh, let's see. Gameplay all the way up. Engine quite high, and story quests a little lower. Um. Do I want to keep the linear story and save game? Well, yeah, I think I do. I think I want to keep those. I was going to say, because it could be like a fighting game, but I don't think we... I think fighting game is an actual thing you get later. So, yeah. You can do without the save game? All right. No save game. Ooh. So, Dayton and Vento has announced that they will release a portable de gaming device called the Game Link. The device comes as a ch with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on the background, built-in speakers, and even a multiplayer sport via connection cable. And it can be yours if the price is right. Compared to other PC gaming consoles, the game is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. Does the NES let people write down those 88 characters? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that reminds me, there's always... There's that one piece of information that I have that I just do not have a use for anymore. I can still remember the freaking 100% uh, Crash Bandicoot password. The first, the first Crash Bandicoot had the option to do a save game, which was ridiculous in terms of how you accessed it. Or you could get a password, which was slightly easier. I still remember the 100% password for the first Crash Bandicoot game. I could probably recite it by memory, actually. <laughs> At this point, I can recite it by memory, but yeah, that was one of those where I'd always have to have it written down somewhere so I could just be like, I want to play, but I just want to do anything. The only thing I remember is Justin ba <laughs> Justin Bailey. Um, oh, I just, heard, I just heard... I just watched a Let's Play with two people talking about it, but I cannot remember what that one's for. The first nude code. <laughs> I can't remember what game one that that was for. I, because I know people were mixing that up with eight U U U U from Kid Icarus, but I don't remember what Justin Bailey's from. Gaming to set shit shelf sustenance. One more little thing. All right, alternate history action. We need some high level design here. It's the no suit Samus code from Metroid. Okay. You are back. Go ahead, fish. All right, so, yeah, level design. Let's put that up a bit. Again, we need to have some witty dialogue every once in a while, but it's not dialogue-driven. And artificial intelligence eh, can go a little bit lower. We need some good AI for attacking people, but, yeah. Level design. We're getting a little low on cash, but we're almost done with this already, so we should be okay. While generating game reports, you start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you have this option turned off in the settings. That's the pluses and minuses that come up next to certain things. The hints range from plus 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 to minus minus and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end, plus 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 question mark it means that you have insights from the game in the same genre but that you are not sure whether this holds true for the particular genre topic combination all right so graphics were apparently pretty well and let's go with that that seems pretty good world design need to have something new around gotta have some sounds for them roars but Ooh, are we busting some more genres on this one? We might be. Get them bugs out. Well, today, the new platform Gameling by Ninvento has been released. All right, let's do this. Ooh, we did get some new records. You know what? The next one will be the post-apocalyptic point and click, because I know that was recommended. Ooh, 2D Graphics V2 got a massive boost. All right, release this game. The first reviews for our newly released game, Dino Jousting, came in. Whoa, that's high. That's high. 
eight. Love it. Very enjoyable. Another eight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It was hit. It was taken by ten for a while. Nope, it goes on. Focus on level design. Serve this game very well. Oh, I thought it was going to hit another nine in there for a second. Alternate history and action is a great combination. All right. That was good. All right. Give me my cash because otherwise, yeah, I'm falling down again. Ooh, look at that. Look at those sales. Let's generate that report while I'm thinking about it. 8.25 total. Dang, that's a good one. Post release. Well, the following results action, alternate history and action is a great combination. Graphics seems to be important for this type of game, and topic audience match alternate history and everyone is great. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we need to make a new game. First, let's do some research. Uh, new topic. All right. Ooh, that's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. We have Expedition, Extreme Sports Prison, and Mad Science as our uh, available topics. Which one should I get? This is researching a new one. I am not using it on a game yet. So, okay, we got one vote for Mad Science. I kind of lean towards Mad Science myself just because that's, uh, that's a new one that I've never seen before. Any other takers? Any other votes? Going with the mad science. There we go. Let's start that research. We're not gonna break 50,000, but I did get 300,000. With the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. And we get new marketing research. Dino Jousting has achieved a company sales record with over 50,000 units sold. It's an important milestone in the history of Flumps Inc. Sweet. Alright. Uh, custom engine. What do I have now? I still can only do mono sound. Let's wait for a little bit longer. Research. Ooh, those take a lot. Uh, let's do some contract work. So we get some character design. Game backdrops. Or some library software. Let's do... Let's do this one. While we're waiting for Dino Jousting to keep going. Adjusting is now off the market. Would hire again. We transfer 20,000 to your account. Sweet. A ton of cash. Yeah, now I do. Sign adjusting is now off the market. It sold 56,000 units, generating 393,000 in sales. Okay, we got some. We can go big on this one. All right, so. I did say I was going to do this, so post-apocalyptic adventure. We gotta go for this one, because we already we need to do PC. Game engine, let's do the flump time engine. Alright. Younger everyone or mature for post-apocalyptic. Got one for M. Anybody else wanna make a vote? Got another M? All right, we're doing M. Mature. All right. So we got a post-apocalyptic adventure. What should the name be? Must ask, that's it. XH, is that, the, is that a name suggestion or is that like the ray? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I 
it is the rating. <laughs> the rating I would prefer. <laughs> Oh god, I have a name idea for this. I have to make sure I get the spelling right because I'm not going to be a dumb. I'm not going to look like a dumb. Okay, it is. That is how it's spelled. Okay. Nuclear boobs! <laughs> the cover is two! The cover is two nuclear bombs going off at the same time, so they kind of look like boobs. Wasteful land out! <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, I would like to think of myself as a mature and sensible person, and then a thought like that happens. <laughs> Atomic jugs, that's better. That's better. Ah, go away. There we go. Atomic jugs. We gotta have them 2D graphics. It's like Mad Max Fury Road, but with more loot. <laughs> yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna make <laughs> Oh god. They gave me the goal hint for a million. They're probably gonna give me the million in this one. This is probably going to sell extremely fucking well. If you have more than one million in cash, you'll be able to move on to the next level. This might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, wink wink, you will get to this amount easily. Vena, creator of the Master V consoles, announced the Vena Gear, a portable console direct to directly compete against the game link from Ninvento. Oh, that's the Game Gear, okay. The spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices in the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full color screen. Will this device topple the game link? We will see. The Vena Gear will debut in two months. Okay. Gameplay was not very important, but I don't know if engine is either, but we'll put story and quest way up. I watch it for the plot. <laughs> we'll need six AAs in 22 minutes like you. So I don't know yet. Let's see. Uh, level design will keep kind of high. Artificial intelligence bringing down the low dialogue. So full of innuendo. So full of innuendo. All of the innuendo. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Will you be willing to give an interview about this? Sure. Great. Thank you for your time. We'll post the interview next week. All right. So let's see. I think that was still a good combination the last time I remember. Oh, you know what? No, let's do world design up a little bit and graphics down just a tad. Yeah, I think that's good. Planet GG? 
Oh, here we go. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Flumps Inc. According to interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. R Wings, owner and CEO of Flumps Inc., said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. In so many words. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Will it go up? Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It's essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. At the beginning of the cure, hype is mostly generated through random events. But once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. We're getting some hype! But platform news. Today the new game new game platform, Vena Gear by Vena has been released. I was about to say game game gear. <laughs> I was about to actually call it the game gear. Can I get some more baubles? There we go. Yeah, add to those design points. Ooh, we broke a new record on design. Let's see how this let's see how Atomic Jugs does. Ooh, 2D graphics leveled up. Cool. Alright. Let's see how this does. First views for our newly released game, Atomic Jugs came in. You can cross-trade your career by living up the <laughs> Daikatana of Duke forever. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We got a 10. Their focus on story quest served this game very well. We got a star to review. Adventure games work well on PC. We got a 9. Ooh, ooh, it's hanging at 10. Awesome. Game here. Another star review. Give me that 10. Oh, it's a 9. So that's a 9.5 for Atomic Jugs. <laughs> awesome. Outstanding game. Everyone loves the Atomic Jugs. <laughs> oh, God. How much is this going to do? Oh, 20,000 in a week. Generate the game report. I don't know if I'll we'll actually make it to a million this time around. Latest game by Flumps Inc. has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10, They're saying their focus on story quests served this game well. If Flumps Inc. continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. In two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. All right, give me that post release. Got the following reserves. Post-apocalyptic and adventure is an okay combination. I thought it would have been better than that. Dialogue seem to be very important for this type of game. Platform audience match PC and mature is great, and topic audience pa match post-apocalyptic and mature is great. Well, yeah, that's basically Fallout. <laughs> Fallout with boob! I'm sorry, I shouldn't be objectifying so much, but... All right, let's do some contract work. While I'm waiting for atomic jugs. Hardware managers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher price alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. No! He's scratching his head! And there we go. Very disappointing, a penalty of 6,000 will apply to the game. The stupid head scratch! If he scratches the head, it just doesn't ha- It just screws you over. Ugh. All right, let's do some research. We got a lot of stuff now, so let's get some other stuff in here. Marketing. No Gaviga? Apparently no.
We have now selected... Oh. You have successfully unlocked marketing. You can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while the game is in development. Alright. So let's develop a new game. Actually, wait. Can I create... No, we're still only there, so let's wait a little bit longer. Alright. Develop a new game. Topic. So, I have not used... Hospital or Mad Science. Let's go between those two. Mad Science Sim. Ooh, I like that combo. Mad Science. Simulation. Uh... I'm thinking PC still. It's like a gambling, that'll be good for later. Once they start doing more than that. The cash register sound is the exact same my phone makes for selling apps and it's kind of keeping me up. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, let's do... Alright, we got PC. Game engine, gotta get the flump time. Alright. Young, everyone, or mature? Now we know that PC mature, I think, seems to be a good combo. But I think we could do some everyone's in here still. So we have M. We have one vote for M. Oh, we got two votes for M. It's a mature. All right. <laughs> Mad science edutainment game. That actually would be amusing. Um... All right, what to call, what to call. I don't really have any good names for this one. The Flying Doctor, all right. Any other ones? I'll just enjoy the elevator music while I'm waiting. Actually, while I'm waiting, I wanna <laughs> Purple tentacle teaches. <laughs> I don't know if that'll fit. That's the sad part. Build your own monster for fun and profit. Let's actually. I'm gonna do a test run and see how much purple tentacle teaches typing fits in here. So it took the whole thing, but I don't know how long it is. I think we're gonna go with that one, though. <laughs> Purple Tentacle teaches typing. It's a mad science, a mature mad science simulation for the PC. And of course, we want our 2D graphics V2 on here. All right, simulation. Gameplay. Whoop. It took the whole thing, but I don't know how long it is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I walked right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> no idea why it's labeled M. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. I think that's a pretty good one. Let's see, it's a simulation. Do we need the story? I kind of want to keep it in. But I don't know if it needs it. I think I'm going to keep it in. Now, it is, it is showing the whole name up here, so... You can have a sim and keep a story, all right. Okay, so artificial intelligence is very good on this one. We'll keep dialogues kind of up and level design. Uh, let's do kind of like that. Yeah, because this... Actually, let's bring that all the way up. And then hopefully it'll get other ones with like these two. We'll get more hint stuff for down here.
Oh, let's actually... Marketing. Marketing can be very effective to reach potential customers, but it can be very expensive too. It's best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much and remember that t timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in development or too late. I mean, we're about a third of the way in. It's also important to know that no matter how much mar money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, it can even hurt market to market bad games too much as it can upset your existing fans. So, let's see. Ooh. 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 That's, that's not good. Uh. We'll do... We'll hold off for a little bit. Yeah, we'll do the three. So let's do like this. And immediately go for the marketing. Build up some hype. For purple tentacle teaches typing. Ooh, I probably should have started a little tiny bit earlier. Because we only got seven hype. Get that bug out. Get a new topic, new combo. Ooh, gameplay getting close to level three. I think that's pretty good. All right, we're not quite at level three yet. Let's see. Oh, I can't generate the report yet until after this. First reviews for our newly released game, Purple Tentacle Teaches Typing, came in. Ooh. What the? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Very enjoyable. <laughs> and a good game. So that looks like an eight and three quarters. 8.75 total. <laughs> How many are we going to get? How many are we going to get? Oh, my goodness. 17,000 this first week. 100 fans. Purple Contentacle sells games. LucasArts forgot this. <laughs> Let's get that game report. I don't think we're going to get the... Ooh, we might get a million. Game report. Post-release analysis of Purple Tentacle Teaches Typing is a good is complete and we got the following results mad science and simulation is a good combination graphics seems to be very important for this type of game and platform genre match pc and simulation is great some of that we kind of knew before but still let's do some contract work while we're waiting for this uh play test or library software let's do the library uh no let's play test. do not scratch your head on me you son of a bitch Ah, that was just fast anyways. God damn it. Oh. We're going to break a million. Uh, a thousand K. So we didn't technically break a million. When you get to move out of your garage, it will probably be with the next one. Uh, let's see. Research. Yeah, it'll probably be the next one. Ooh, do I want a casual or do I want a topic? I want a topic. All right, so we have expedition, extreme sports, prison, and hacking. What do we want here? For a new topic. move out of my garage where the time machine is. That's true. There is the DeLorean hiding underneath there. All right. We got one for hacking and one for prison. Let's see. Prison simulator. I just went with sim... I just went with simulation, though. I think I want to... Actually, you know what? Nah, let's go ahead and do it. Prison. 
and I will be right back because I need water. So give me like two minutes, two seconds. I'm gonna be a bitch. <laughs> oh God. Okay, I have my water. Okay, here we go. Got my water. Okay, let me... Hair wants to be in the way of my headphones. There we go. Alright. Alright, platform news. Vina has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vina Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound, promises a new kind of gaming experience. This is the Mega Vibe. Okay, I am not actually... I'm not familiar with that one. Fuck off a minute, I'm trying to gauge your audience. <laughs> oh, that's good. Maybe that. Today. You said at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well on the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and... No, I wanna keep it, because I wanna keep the other ones. Let's... New game already. All right, topic. Somebody said prison sim. You remember Airplane? Remember what happened when Ted Stryker tried to tell the other passengers about his life? That's the face that you always do if you engage me. Okay. Prison simulation. Uh, I think we gotta stick with the PC. We are mostly known, apparently, for making PC games. Also, I like the fact that the PC has slowly updated itself. I had a PC like this when I was really, really young. And once again, on the Flump Time Engine. No, get, get out of here. Alright, um... Prison simulation, I think, needs to be immature. Let's see what the chat thinks, though. We already got an M. I'm pretty sure I'm going with M on this one. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um... What to name? I nearly spit my water out of the Oh, God. Straight the game. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Let's 
Scared straight. Shawshank edition. I'm going with that. 2D graphics. Get out of here, you. Oh. Okay, so we literally just did a simulation, so I think I need to change nothing. Game reviewers are going to be wondering, what the hell sort of bad history do you have to make this game? <laughs> and what madman is trying to create a Shawshank tie-in game? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ooh. Magazines and demos would be good, but let's do that. wait for a little bit. Oh, quit scratching your head. Just slows everything down. Alright, so yeah, that seems pretty good. Marketing. Magazines and demos. Ooh, but that's 150000 on that one. I don't make enough money to do that yet. Let's go ahead and do the magazine, though. And today the Vena Oasis, or the Genesis, has been released. Ooh! It's getting a lot of stuff, but it's also getting a lot of bugs. Crypt message. This is a very special offer. Our agents have managed to borrow some research information that might be of interest to you. If you are interested, then transfer 31,000 to the enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you, Agent Blowfish. If I recall, some of these are very important and so not important. They are, uh, The scraping a hole in the wall mini game takes forever and damn near broke my thumbs, but it was almost worth it for the total immersion of crawling through a pipe full of sewage. I could almost smell the shit. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait. Ah, oh, I already missed it. I could have read that in a Morgan Freeman. I'm terrible at it, but I could have. The scraping a hole in the wall mini game takes forever and damn near broke my thumbs. It was almost worth it for the total immersion of crawling through a pipe full of sewage. I could almost smell the shit. <laughs> oh, I had I had to try. I'm probably terrible at it, but <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and decline the proposition because I think they can get me in trouble if I. Some of them are worth it, but it's kind of a random chance. I'm gonna decline. All right. Get rid of them bug. All right. Oh, we're getting more. All right, that's it. Dad, <laughs> we got a new one up. Oop, we're getting level threes. We're getting a couple level threes. Cool. Release game. New research available, better user experience, level editor, and open world. We'll definitely need to get some of those. First reviews for our newly released game, Scared Straight, Shawshank Edition came in. <laughs> Outstanding achievement by Star Games. A masterpiece by Inform Gamer. Awesome declares game hero. And an outstanding game, according to all games. <laughs> game of the year! Greatest of all time! <laughs> 9.75! So close! Oh my god. Alright, we are going to generate a game report. Holy shit! <laughs> 122,000 in its one first fucking week! <laughs> <laughs> Scared.
Garrett's trade Shawshank condition has achieved a company has achieved a company sales record with over a hundred thousand units sold in the first goddamn. This is an important milestone. You just made GTA 5 25 years early. This is an important milestone in the history of Flum Sink. Ooh, congratulations. You have made quite a name for yourself and saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then I suggest moving to a new office as the next step. We have found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? We shall. We are upgrading. There we go. Welcome to your new office. Now that you are, have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make it even better games. And look at that, our logo flumps on the outside there. You may now also train yourself and staff to improve skills. Try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. To get started, close this message tutorial and click on the character to bring up the training menu. First of all, let's get that. There we go. We're still getting a lot of shit too. Our post-release analysis is scared straight. Shawshank condition is complete. We got the following results: prison simulation is a prison simulation is a great combination, and dialogue seems to be not important for this type of game. All right. All right. Train. Staff management. Dang! Scared straight. This. The Shawshank Edition, the newest game by Flum Sink, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Scared Straight Shawshank Edition is one of the rare games that will set a new quality standard <laughs> for... Oh, God! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no! that Flum Sink has really made gaming history with Scared Strange and Austin Condition. Well done! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, yeah, that's... Are we gonna have 500,000 with this? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's fill a position. Before you can hire someone, you have to advertise the open position, set an advertising buzz, and how decide how you want to test your applicants. A high budget will increase the number of applicants, and different tests will help find people with the right balance of design and technology skills. Alright, so let's put a budget of... 70,000. Uh, and let's have a game demo. Seems that Flump Sync has recently moved into an office in a well-known technology park and is now searching for employees. The company, which is known for, known for such <laughs> the company, which is known for such games such as Scared Straight, Shawshank Edition, and Atomic Jugs, has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. Uh, and the many fans of Scared Straight, Shawshank Edition commented, "I can't believe they didn't even have a proper office until now, and those games were created by only one person." I'm really looking forward to their future games. Oh my God, it's gonna break a freaking five hundred thousand. Search for open positions complete. You can now review the list of applicants and hire someone for the position. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve your skills. All right, Lisa Owen, design technology, speed research, and a salary of 20,000 a month. Oh, Liam Owen. And Michael Schmidt. Oh, I are both, that's a good combo. Speed, 282, research, 248, and salary 8,000 per month, really? Scared straight to Joliet Blues. I think I'm gonna go with Liam Owen. Congratulations, your first hire. New employees have to settle in before they can become fully effective. When a character is not fully efficient, you can see efficiency bar next to him. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome train to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normally. And we get medium games. So, train. Welcome training. I think that's new. Skirsh. Life from Folsom. If you want to create hit games and have a world class team, training is important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some are options to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plans. It's useful to have a mix of specialists and all rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and technology specialist. 
Let's see. Uh, unknown, but I can tell some of these. Um... For me, let's do Make Me Think. Let's see what that is. Yep, that is research. Scared straight. Shohei Blues, live from Folsom or the hole. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let's give you a training. You need a little bit up on your technology. So let's go... Coding complete. And in the meantime, let's... Oh, you're almost done, so I'll do the research as soon as you're done. There we go. Research. Uh, let's see. Wow, we got a lot, and we don't have a lot of other stuff. So let's actually take a contract. As soon as he's done, we'll take a contract. But right now, let's research. Uh, let's see. New topic. So, expedition, extreme sports, hacking, or virtual pet? Medium games is a uh, larger one. So, uh, way more intensive. I think that's usually how I bank bankrupt myself is by doing terrible on a medium game. Anything but virtual pets. <laughs> but look at the kitty. That is terrifying, actually. <laughs> Never mind, that cat is terrifying. Anything for virtual pets. All right, extreme sports, expedition, or hacking? Kind of leaning towards the hacking, if I'm completely honest here. Oh god. There is water on the screen. Thankfully only a couple of drops, but... There is water on my computer screen. It's like, thankfully just like a couple of drops, but oh my god. That took me off guard. Okay, we got one for extreme sports. I actually have a couple of decent combinations in my head, but I'm still gonna keep them open. All right, we got a couple for extreme sports then. All right, let's do that research. While you're getting your stuff. Extreme Championship Wrestling! Alright. One more research. Uh, better user experience. 